Alrighty guys, out with the old, in with the new. Welcome yeah, back man. to the Houston Kill YouTube channel. My name's Houston Kill This is the main man, Jesse. Yes, sir. <laughs> and guys, if y'all can't guess, it's finally here. It's yeah. time to change out the old transmission. It's in Jesse's 55. Uh, we had some serious problems with this thing. Serious. But now, problems. we've got a brand new Turbo 400 from TSR uh, Racing Products. And uh, this thing has got a trans brake on it, racing transmission, and this thing is going to kick some butt. She's so, packing. Uh, <laughs> Alright, right, guys and gals, I thought I'd give a quick little recap on Jesse's 55. Uh, I know you guys haven't seen this thing in a little bit, but I thought I'd show some footage when me and him first went and picked this thing up. And uh, boy, we have a good time. And I tell you, man, we've had a good time and some good episodes with this car here. Seems like a lot of people like seeing it. You know, we went from having a six cylinder in this thing, we done the V8 swap on it and uh anything from that to um getting this thing a little bit sideways and doing some testing out on the street with it but uh unfortunately we had some transmission problems and uh, this episode is all about fixing those transmission problems so we can get this thing out, out there and uh burning the tires off <laughs> It sounds a lot different than when it did that had that V or that straight six straight when it yeah, came in here. Like <laughs> sounds a little bit more peppy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Heck yeah. Well, Jesse, pop the hood on this thing real quick. Let me turn this light on. Yeah, man. All righty, guys. For all the new subscribers that hasn't seen this thing yet, this is Jesse's 55. 210 four door. That's right, man. 350 Chevrolet. Uh, Hall EFI sniper carb and a V3 supercharger. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So uh, we done a uh, small block Chevrolet swap in this thing. It had a straight uh, inline six cylinder in this thing when Jesse got it. Yep. And um, you've done a lot. Yeah, exactly. You've got a lot. a lot more parts coming. It's her in the car. I just got, got to put them on. <laughs> yep. So you guys in this episode are going to get to see several things get done anything from golly rear new, end swap new transmission new transmission new shifter and then uh just odds and end things we need to yep. button up we on. got a bunch of odds and ends that needs to be wrapped up on this car and and more solid yeah we're just and, going i just need to get it to the body get it good enough where it can get to the body shop because yep. it would have been the body shop a long time ago but that transmission that was that's in it literally leaks like a sieve. Yep. And I said, I don't want to take a daggum car to a nice shop that's just going to leak transmission fluid constantly. So I'm just going to do it in my shop. Ex yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, guys. Uh, long story short, front seal and the uh, transmission is leaking like a sieve. Yeah, the and front seal at the main, in the main pump on the yep. transmission. And so. Jesse bought a brand new TSR Racing 400 racing transmission yeah. going this bad boy and then in the future when it's all said and done she'll have air shifter and everything yeah so. man so <laughs> yeah this old bird is getting some love and a bunch of uh, benjamin franklin's yes sir five thousand dollars worth <laughs> of benjamin <laughs> that's right jesse has been hammered down on this thing <laughs> and uh, we can't wait to get in this so i've got a truck that i'm finishing up on for a customer uh we need to make some space we pulled my car out and brought jesse's car in so he can be hammering down this thing and uh, we'll be having a lot of content coming to you guys over the yep. next few weeks. So you guys sit back and enjoy, and uh, let's have a good time, Jesse. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alrighty, guys and gals. Me and old Mr. Jesse is about to drop his transmission out. Uh, needless to say, Jesse, we're getting good at this. Yeah, third time. <laughs> third time done block. <laughs> yeah. Third time's a charm. Pretty much, we know exactly what uh, tools to get. We know exactly five million extension... <laughs> 
on 9 16 socket what it takes to get this transmission out of here. Yeah, with like what a whole eight extensions on the impact. <laughs> yeah, we got about three foot extensions on there and a universal, <laughs> and we can get the bolts out of it. So, uh, all right, guys, so we're about to hammer down here. Y'all about to see the transmission come out of it. So, uh, all right, let's do it. All right, let's get this cross member out, Jesse. Come back just a little bit if we can. Uh -huh. I think you can come straight down now. All right, hold up just a second. We've got to get the dipstick out of it. Okay, and we'll come down some more, okay? Uh -huh. Clearing over here. Alright, I'm gonna lean the transmission back a little bit so we don't lose the uh, converter, okay? Alright. Alright. Come down some more. I think we're cleared up, man. I think we are too. Now, I guess just lift the car back up enough so we can get this out of here. Yeah, unfortunately. <sighs> Well, where's that done? Yep, sure is. All right, guys, we just dropped the transmission out. Now we gotta pick a car up a little bit so that we can actually get this transmission out of here, load up the Ford 100 on it, and uh, Makes the exchange, after. my man. The exchanging. All right, let's okay. get after it. All right, guys and gals, JC, out with the old man. Yes, sir, out with the old. That sore tooth is gone. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Guys, we've gotten real good at taking this out and not for a good reason. No, no. <laughs> All right, so some big differences here in between these transmissions. Guys, um, this is a Turbo 350. This is a Turbo 400, okay? Um, there is a difference in length in these. Luckily, the transmission that Jesse was using had the long tail shaft in it. And uh, this transmission right here is only a half inch shorter than what this one is. So not a huge difference, but uh, still enough that we have to be really careful when it comes to the drive shaft and all that stuff. We may end up having to chop the drive shaft down. So we're kind of at a limbo spot here where we're going to get this transmission back in here, okay? I'm, Jesse, I'd like to test just to see if the drive shaft will fit it with the rear end that's in it. Yeah, you know man. I'm yeah, I'm down for that. Um, good. Because the spot that we're in here is we've got a little problem that's on the rear end. It's not a big one, but uh, my thought is if we can keep this car mobile uh, and we can get the old drive shaft to fit back in it, then we're going to be in good shape for a little bit until we get that rear end fixed. So, uh, man, let's get this bad boy put up in there and go from there. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. So... <laughs> What is going on is the original transmission mounts that's on the frame are about six inches off compared to where they need to be for a turbo 400. So we're going to take the uh, we're going to take the cross member out and we're going to modify the cross member instead of modifying the mounts on the frame um, because we've got fuel lines under here and transmission lines and all that stuff and i really don't want to weld around that type of stuff and or have to take all that stuff out so we're going to take the cross member out of it and uh, we're going to do some modifications so you guys hold on tight this is part of it man didn't know what was going to happen but here we are jesse that's it <laughs> okay Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and had Jesse um, uh, drill out some adapter plates for me. Uh, we're just going to use some angle iron here. We're basically making some different mounts for his uh, cross member. And uh, it'll be good and strong. And uh, we can mount it really good to the frame and stuff down there. And uh, we'll be in good shape. But uh, yeah man, we just got a hammer down here. And uh, keep a ball rolling. So you guys just hang tight. Well Jesse... Yeah, man. You about knocked yourself out. I'm recovering from sheesh. <laughs> I was walking, hit the daggum 
the horn of my frame on the front of that car. Lord, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> About knocked the man out over there. Jeez. <laughs> I think, uh, golly, I think you hurt the frame more than you hurt that hard I head. <laughs> All right, guys, well, good news. Old transmission is out, yeah. and the new one is up in there. Uh, we got a little bit of back checking I do. That cross member situation just wore me out, but uh, we're getting there. Um, uh, let's see here. It's time to back check some stuff. Um, getting ready to do some measurement on this drive shaft to see if it will work. Uh, honestly, guys, I'd like to get this swapped out and uh, do some measuring here and see if, if this drive shaft would work with this rear end in it. Um, at just I'm just curious to see if it would. <coughs> but if not, it's all good. Um, Jesse's been PB blasting, putting WD-40 on bolts and hardware and stuff on this rear end back here so that this bad boy's getting prepped to get dropped out of here. So uh, guys, we're getting closer and closer. We're gonna keep on uh, hammering down here. Are you excited? Oh man, floored, dude! <laughs> Can't wait to get this hot rod on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Heard that? All right, let's keep get back at it. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys and gals, I thought I'd give y'all a quick preview of uh, Jesse's rear end and his quick performance axles. Uh, you got him some gun drilled axles and a brand new quick performance rear end that we had high tech powder coatings. Uh, powder coat this bad boy, and uh, that'll be in the next episode. You guys get to see this thing installed. So you guys hang tight. Jesse, we can't even go and get can't car go parts. Get parts, man. <laughs> Guys, it's that time of year where they've got the parade going on, and uh, we're trying to work on hot rods. You yeah. know what I mean? Golly. <laughs> All kinds of shenanigans right now. There's traffic everywhere. Uh, All righty, guys. Uh, man, we've got the transmission in. Uh, we just we had to kind of go ahead and hammer down on the drive shaft situation. Um, I'm not going to show you guys much of that, but we had to shorten it ourselves. Um, we've got to make the drive shaft work so we can move this car around. So we had to do what we had to do on that deal. So we've got the drive shaft working now. Uh, it's time to get the shifter to work. Um, uh, I made a pedestal stand for it. Uh, a lot of guys in the Bel Air are probably not going to like this the way this is going to look. But I need Jesse to be comfortable when he goes to drive this thing. And he needs to be comfortable when he's shifting it and when he's strapped all in the car and stuff. So yeah, uh, man. we had to do what we had to do. But I think it's gonna look good, man. 13 inch pedestal. We got that thing hanging in there like a trophy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's definitely hanging in there like a trophy. And man, I think the stand looks good. So oh, let's, yeah, man. let's finish welding this bad boy up and uh, we'll get you mounted up, Jesse. All right, dude. Alright dude. Yeah man. <laughs> Alright guys, there it is. It's time to cool this dude off. Just a simple pedestal like that. Bolts in the floorboard, shifter bolts up here. We've got him a little um, a trans brake button. It's just a switch to turn it on and off so he can put this thing in reverse. Yeah. A problem we found with my car in the GTO, if you're trying to only push the button on the steering wheel to get this thing going in reverse, what ends up happening is you have to steer with one hand, put the other thumb on the button, and kind of steer it like that, and it's really hard to do if you've got to cut the wheel hard. Yeah, so more or less, I've decided to have a button on the shifter and a button on the steering wheel. I have options. So. Yeah, and, <laughs> and he'll have a switch here on his pedestal, so when he turns the reverser on, it stays on until he's ready to turn it off. Yeah. Simple as that. All right. All right, go ahead and put it in uh, first gear. There you go. All right, let off the brake. Okay. All right, let me check the fluid level, okay? Uh, 
That's fine. Let off a break. Give it just a little bit of gas. There we go. All right, guys, we just ran it through the gears and that stuff seemed to work pretty decent. Y'all have to excuse my mess right now because we were just testing everything, make sure everything worked. And then uh, next weekend, we got to really button everything up, clean it up. Jesse. Yeah, man. Motion race work shifters in. New TSR racing transmissions in. She's ready, dude. She's, <laughs> She's body shop ready. Trans brake is working to go in reverse. Yeah. And oh, stuff. yeah. Trans brakes work. This is all new to me. I've never had this level of hot rod. <laughs> it's always been straight off the junkyard or marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So we got a whole new level of shenanigans yeah, here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get a lot, used to a lot of things, new things, too. Yep. That's the way it is. You know what I mean? So. Oh, yeah, man. So we're rocking and rolling pretty good right now um it's time to really and truly we gotta get things cleaned up we gotta get things buttoned up and go from there dad what do you think about it good, sound <laughs> sounds good don't yeah, it starts good. it starts real good but anyways guys uh that's gonna wrap it up for this episode jesse end us off here man y'all know the deal like and share like and share smash that subscribe button so you can keep up with our junk we'll see you all on the next go round <laughs> that's right guys thank y'all for watching <laughs>